Hi, it is of course Hot Dogs. Welcome back to my channel and another installment of The Sims 4 Survivor Oasis. And as you can tell, I lied in my last video. I said I would be back to do um, a video recording and uh... Yep, nope, I'm way too lazy to do that. <laughs> I don't feel like putting on the suit and getting in front of a camera right now. So uh, you're just going to have to deal with my voice. But it is night 13 here at the Red Nook Stone Tribe. And as you can see, everyone's kind of working out, either playing chess, doing their hobbies per usual. Um, of course, Brant is working out. I feel like this is where he stays the most, is working out. Um, Tina and Jenna are playing chess together and <laughs> Bonding the two of them. They've been kind of separating, but I think now that Nervous is out of the camp, um, Jenna is back to being Tina's number one BFF. Um, she was kind of slowly drifting away and partnering with Nervous. She was the w one vote to keep Nervous. Um, but unfortunately, as you saw in the last episode, he has been swapped over to the Green Sand Trap Tribe. And we actually have a few different twists going on in this week, which I'm really excited to announce and begin. Um, for starters, tonight, the immunity competition um, will be a bit different. Both teams will compete um, as normal, except it will be an individual immunity competition and only one member from each tribe will win immunity and we'll be having a double tribal council on Friday. So this week is jam-packed full of twist. Um, as you see, Rich just fell, but it's probably good that they are both working out and everyone's working on their skills because only one of them will win immunity, so any kind of advantage of skill points will be worth it this week, especially. Um, for some reason, I don't know. I don't know if this is just a thing with, like, my game, but everyone stays falling. I don't know if it was, like, a weird update, but everyone falls, and then as soon as they get up, they're just like, ook, ook, do, do, like that with the chicken dance or whatever and it's been happening hey, boy, since Obama. my Obama. love island reunion special i think it kind of started then like whenever the um snowy escape pack came out uh, ever since then everyone stays falling and then getting goofy afterwards it's really irritating <laughs> um you'll see it happens a few more times in this episode even it's really frustrating and then of course everyone has to stop what they're doing to laugh at richard because he's doing the chicken dance um, what they really need to be doing is focusing on their hobbies and skill points, uh, but we'll see how well any of these guys do. I feel like when it comes to the red team, they are finally starting to form real alliances. For the longest time, the only real alliance was between Jenna and Tina, I feel like. But now it almost seems like there is the group of four of Brant, Tina, Bella, and Jenna. And then we have Nina and Rich kind of doing their own thing on the outskirts of the tribe. Like, as we see, um, Nina has just been kind of dancing and hanging out by the fire on her own. She's not really socializing with that many people. And now Tina is off doing the gooky gooky chicken dance as well, even though she didn't even fall. So I'm sick of seeing that. <laughs> um, when the fire does go out, uh, Nina does finally come to join the group. Um, it's interesting. I feel like this tribe has such different dynamics than the green tribe. This one seems a lot faker. <laughs> I mean, they're like all trying to act like they're one big happy family, but clearly they're not. Um, even though the vote to, uh, swap Nervous, uh, was pretty united almost. Um, I'm surprised that didn't affect anything. I think if anything that comes out of Nervous leaving is they will become more unified, especially that group of four. Um, but as we see, like, Richard and Nina has come, and I don't know, it's it's hard to tell where the lines fully are drawn with this team. Um, Bella is still consistently painting, <laughs> um, and just getting on with that. Unfortunately, she is painting a blue painting, so I don't know if I'm actually going to let her finish it or not, because I don't want her to ruin my tribe aesthetic. Um, and Jenna has started working out, um, which is good. I, think, I don't think I've ever seen Jenna work out, so that's a first. Bob C, Bora, Chef, Camus Band Trip, Cheflet, Palafoy, yeah. Shady Bully Galan. Oh. Bing Kappa Sigluna. Mm. 
Dopfi Tova Kalarga Farb Web Veroda. Uh huh. But yeah, everyone's kind of getting along, talking. Uh, nothing really crazy is happening until, out of nowhere, around 3 a.m. or so, a random ghost just appears. She just walks through the walls and comes into the camp and immediately starts playing basketball. Um, <laughs> it was just so bizarre. Like, does it interact? No one even seems to really notice her or notice what's going on until she she even does, like, one one shot at basketball and then and then gives up on that. And then she starts following Jenna to the bathroom. I don't know if she had to go to the bathroom or not, um, but she does get stopped once Jenna actually goes in there and closes the door. And she ends up turning around and just joining the group instead. And this is where she actually introduces herself. And it's pretty interesting because almost immediately she gets irritated and annoyed and changes her whole vibe altogether. I also don't know who this person is. Like, I don't know the name of this ghost. Um, I'm assuming she died in the desert around here. Uh, maybe someone dumped her body in the desert of Oasis Springs. And she just, just came over to visit. Um, but yeah, she instantly starts talking to uh, Tina, Brant, and Bella, and then Bella and her actually start arguing with each other. I think, I don't know what the argument would even start from. Like, I would, I don't know how you start an argument with a ghost, especially since she hasn't even done anything, but just come on in there and start playing basketball, but they're instantly arguing, instantly becoming enemies, and if I was to make an enemy with anyone, it wouldn't be a ghost. Like... They have no boundaries. You just walked in your place and you're really going to start arguing with her when she can just appear out of nowhere and yell at you? I don't think so. Um, but yeah, I guess we have a new tribe member <laughs> to the red team. <laughs> um, I also love uh, that Nina is working out with the face mask on. Um, it seems a bit counterproductive as you're like sweating and you have a face mask on your face, but... I mean, whatever do you. And then Bella also hops on the treadmill, so apparently tonight is everyone's time to take turns working out. I think they kind of know the importance of staying fit in this game. Um, and so they're all just taking turns on the treadmill, on the punching bag, and stuff like that. Um, actually, I said earlier that this ghost, like, changed, that she got angry. But I guess she got angrier a lot faster. I'm actually surprised she's still happy so far. Um, to my memory, she got angry, like, as soon as Bella argued with her, but... So far, she's still pretty calm. Um, so I guess I lied. I lied. Oops. Uh, <laughs> also, sorry that I'm not on camera. <laughs> I feel like, there she goes. There. Now now she's angry. All right. It took Nina. I guess she got mad at Nina. Um, and not Bella. Even though Nina didn't do anything at all. Um, but yeah, so now we have an angry poltergeist on our hands here on the Red Tribe. Let's hope she doesn't break items, because I'm definitely not going to fix them unless they win a luxury competition. So, if anything breaks, they're stuck with it. Um, we see that Richard has met Jenna in the bathroom. Maybe they're hiding from the ghost in there. Who really knows? Um, I, I don't know. Richard is a big key point to me in this tribe, as I feel like I don't really know where he lies specifically. Like... Um, he's almost on his own, but also in the middle of everything. So he's the one I'm definitely keeping my eye on the most here on the Red Tribe. Also, back to what I was saying earlier, I'm so sorry that I'm not on camera right now. It's just like, uh, I don't know. It's been hard for me to really uh, put time and effort in recording the videos. I have almost all of the videos, um, like gameplay is recorded. Almost all of them are edited. All I ever have to do is record myself, put it on the video, and then upload it. Um, but recently, that's just been too much for me. <laughs> I'm not too sure why. Um, we are pretty much at the halfway point of the series. This is a 10-week series. And we're at week 5, so we are at the halfway point. We're getting there. And all these episodes do get so interesting like we're having the individual immunity this week the double tribal council there's another twist next week with the tribes there's the merge after that like every week coming up we have so many different twists and events so i'm actually really excited to show you guys what i've been working on but for some reason getting in front of the camera putting a hot dog suit on has just been too much work um Back to the gameplay footage, we see that like Nina, Rich, and uh, Bella all got together to talk, and I thought they were going to have a nice little conversation, but no, they just make Nina the third well as they agree to woohoo. 
Um, and they walk away to go woohoo in the bedroom. At least it's not on that open balcony. Um, and as you saw, Nina just tripped and there's no puddle there. So what she is falling and slipping on, I have no idea. And I don't see anyone talk about their Sims slipping all the time on Twitter or anything. Um, so I don't know if it's just my game. Like, I don't know what's going on with that. Can someone please solve that in the comments? Sophie, can you answer that? Because I know you answer a lot of my problems. <laughs> um, so yeah, I would really like to know what's going on with that. Uh, we saw that Rich just grilled um, some bananas, and Nina is back grilling some more, just wasting more food that they have to leave the platter on the floor to rot, per usual. I think this tribe is definitely the messiest out of all the other tribes. I don't know if it's because they've won the least amount of luxury competitions or what it is, but they're constantly making food, not eating it, and just leaving it on the ground, and then and then complaining that it smells bad. So before that even happens, I'm just gonna go ahead and leave. I'm like, you know what? <laughs> I don't need to be here for you complaining about what smell it is. We're gonna go check out the green sand trap tribe and see what they're up to. All right, so it is early morning on day 14 now at the sand trap tribe and i instantly leave one tribe because they're cooking to come to the green tribe cooking and then leaving the food on the ground so it really wasn't worth uh leaving the red tribe apparently for that reason uh, <laughs> um we see that eliza and natalie were hanging out uh wasting food while fabio vesepia and johnny hang out by the woodworking table um fabio and vesepia have constantly been hanging out by the woodworking table recently having one-on-one -on -one conversations i think personally it'd be more beneficial for johnny to also join this group and not just stay by natalie's side i feel like natalie is controlling johnny's game 100 percent like whatever she tells him to do he'll do she's kind of like leading him throughout the game so far and if you want anyone to lead you through it it would be fabio or Vesepia for me at least i don't know axawa Keep a glosh. With boost. Free bar. From. Nash. Oh, no. Fuck no, my frispa. Spolip lamena. Just stop with frip. Lasamu ya bond. A dunkalalake. Boosh. Luna. From. Club also, this is kind of random, but I just wanted to give a shout out. Today I have reached 220 subscribers. I feel really good about that, especially since I've gained about 30 or so during this Sim Survivor uh, series. Um, so I can't believe it's really doing that well. I'm glad you guys are enjoying the episodes. I'm getting good view counts and everything, so I really appreciate that. I'm kind of like living my best life here on YouTube. Unfortunately, Natalie here on the Green Sand Trap Tribe cannot say the same. She seems to be really annoyed by the mess. She's cleaning, complaining. But I'm like, girl, you making the mess. You're the one that's cooking food and leaving it on the ground. You need to be stressed out at yourself. But I mean, I relate to her because like my house is messy right now and nothing gives me the, like, I get such bad anxiety when I come home from work to a dirty house. Like, which just happened to me on the regular now, but whew, it frustrates me to no other. As we see, Eliza's hanging out outside by herself. She's kind of, I mean, I'm surprised she doesn't hang out by herself more because, like, no one really wants to hang out with her. Um, and right when it begins to rain, I guess it washed a spider out of a tree and it has attacked Fabio. Um, so everyone's kind of in a really bad mood now. I think the weather, it raining on them is upsetting them. Um, and I, when I first went over this tribe, they all seemed kind of happy, and now it's just going downhill by the second. Um, especially with this downpour that's coming. Um, I'm actually kind of excited for the winter months here in Oasis Springs. It's just going to get cold, it's going to start raining, and uh, I feel like it's really feeling like Survivor. They're really having to face the elements. Um, Eliza has gone to the gym, is doing some yoga, is meditating by herself, which, I mean, if anyone's going to hang out with themselves, again, I think it should be Eliza. <laughs> How she survived this long, I really have no idea. She's doing so well, and I really didn't think she would. Alright, but with the rain, everyone is slowly either getting in the tent, going in the gym, 
or going inside the house, Eliza just wants to leave all together. She ran to the front door and was like, let me out. Um, so what am I going to make them do? Uh, duh, I'm going to make them all compete right now. Oh, you're miserable. Oh, you don't want to be outside? Well, guess what? I'm going to make you stay outside in the rain and we're going to compete for individual immunity today. All right, so today's immunity challenge is called Game Night, and it's pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory. Originally, I was going to do uh, the um, horseshoe thing, but I think because of the weather and because of the rain, it wouldn't allow them to do it for some reason. So that's why you see this here, but um, I do end up changing that. Um, so, with individual immunity, both tribes will compete for immunity today, except only one member from each tribe will win. Um, this is how immunity will work once the merge begins, um, which is in about two weeks. Um, so since all the tribes are down to six members, I wanted to keep it even, especially since we just did the tribe swap, so that's the main reason why I was like, you know what, let's just do a double elimination. I want the red team to go to tribal council no matter what. They've only gone once the series. I need to know where their relationships actually lie. Um, so, as the pairings, I have put Bella and Jenna up against each other. And for the green tribe, I have put the Sepia and Eliza. And everyone is going to compete in pairs um, with Ping Pong until it gets down to three members each from each tribe. And then we're going to move on to a different game. So, I think they all would be kind of having fun doing this if it wasn't for the rain. But... Survivor isn't for having fun, okay? It's a challenge for a reason, and I want to make them work for it. So if they're going to be having an easy, fun competition, it's going to be in the cold rain. Um, everyone has no skill points in any of these games, especially ping pong, so everything is pretty much at an open playing field in terms of who's going to win, who has an advantage. They all have no advantage. Um, so... All the games are pretty close. As we see, the Green Tribe is the first one to finish up with their round. And Eliza actually wins against Vesepia. So Eliza will be moving on to round two. The one good thing about getting out of the competition is that you always get to get some shelter. I do put them up under an awning. Everyone else has to just sit and watch them in the rain. Uh, as we see with the Red Tribe, they have just finished their first round and Jenna has beat Bella. So Jenna will be moving on to the second round and both Bella and Vesepia are out. Um, so both of them are in danger of going home in Tribal Council without this immunity. Alright, so now it's time for some boys to compete. For the Red Tribe, we have Rich going up against Brant. Um, and then for the Green Tribe, we have Johnny going against Fabio. I feel like both of these things, both of these pairs are the main alpha males of the tribe. Like, uh, Johnny and Fabio are like the males of the Green Tribe, and Brant and Rich have been for the Red Tribe. I'm also secretly hoping that one of them gets struck by lightning, um, as I thought that would be kind of fun. <laughs> It'd be a surprise ending to the competition. Um, the Green Tribe, however, has finished up with their ping pong match pretty early. Um, I didn't expect them to finish that quickly. And Johnny has actually beat Fabio. So Johnny will be moving on to round two, and Fabio is out of the competition, leaving him in danger of going down. And now the red team has finished up, and Brant has actually beat Rich. 
So both Rich and Fabio are out of the competition, and Johnny and Brant are moving on to round two. Now it's time for our last pairing of round one. For the red team, we have Nina going against Tina, and for the green team, we have our first uh, mixed gender pairing of Nervous going against now, out of every single person that's competing right now, I think Nervous is the one that needs to win this immunity the most. I mean, he just got voted off the Red Tribe uh, for having the lowest, you know, social over there. And now he's gone to the Green Tribe. He's new there. Everyone else has been forming relationships this whole time. They've had, you know, a limited amount of time to uh, bond with Nervous. So I think he will definitely be in trouble at uh, Tribal Council if he does not win immunity. But unfortunately, it's not looking too good for him as he does lose this round at Ping Pong and Natalie wins and moves on to round two. So if I was nervous, I would be terrified right now. He really needs to get out there, go balls to the wall, and just try to talk and bond as hard as he can or else he's definitely, definitely in danger. Friday. Um, but we'll have to just wait and see. But that does mean for the green team, we have Johnny, Eliza, and Natalie competing in round two. And the Red Tribe just finished theirs, and Nina has beat Tina. So for the Red Tribe competing in round two, we have Nina, Brant, and Jen. Um, let's go ahead and start. So for round two, is not going to be ping pong. We're going to play a different kind of game. And this time, we're going to play Llama Llama. Um, it's like Jenga, obviously. Um, and instead of completing the full game, uh, whoever is the one to pull the piece and have everything fall um, is the one that's out of the competition. We're just going to go like that. So whoever is left in the game without making the Llama Tower fall will be the winner for their tribe. Um, I, I do feel bad for Jeff. He's going to be so sick after this. <laughs> I hope all of them get colds. But yeah, so they're all going to start. Uh, and let's see who is the first one out. I'm sure it'll happen really quickly. Alright, so the Red Tribe is the first for their tower to fall over, and unfortunately for Brant, he was the one that pulled the piece. So Brant is out of the competition and is now down to Jenna and Nina for the Red Tribe. Alright, so unfortunately for Natalie, she is the one to pull the piece to have her tower fall, so she is officially out of the competition, and we are now down to our final two for both tribes. I do have to say, I think Jenga would be really hard to play in the rain. I mean, it's pouring down raining, you're wet, the pieces are wet, none of them really have clothes on, it's cold, it's lightning, you're scared. I feel like it'd be pretty difficult. And BAM! Just like that, Jenna pulls the piece that has her tower fall, meaning Nina is the one to win individual immunity for her tribe, and Eliza ends up getting out on hers. So the two winners of individual immunity are Johnny for the green tribe and Nina for the red tribe. So again, both tribes will be going to tribal council on Friday's episode. Um, and the only ones safe are Nina and Johnny, plus whoever has hidden immunity idols. Um, I love that glitch they do when their uh, <laughs> umbrella breaks. Not only does their um, umbrella break, but both of their shoulders do too. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, that's going to wrap it up for this competition. We actually are going to end up heading back to the tribes and kind of seeing uh, how they end up handling uh, this individual immunity win. But what do you guys think? Are you glad that Johnny won individual immunity? Or how about Nina? Are you happy Nina won? Um, what do you think is going to happen at Tribal Council? Let me know all, the, all in the comments below. I love hearing from you guys. Um, and all of you guys are so vocal. Like, there's a few of you that I just love hearing from. You comment on every single video. And I gotta tell you, that does actually mean a lot to me. Um, I don't really, like, share these videos with my family or 
the few friends I have don't really watch them either. No one I really know plays The Sims. So uh, making friends online that enjoy The Sims, that enjoy the videos I make, genuinely does mean a lot to me. And I love hearing from you guys, hearing what you guys think of the videos. I mean, it's the whole reason I post them online, obviously. Like, this is how I play the game normally by myself. Like, if I wasn't recording, I would still be doing Big Brother and Survivor and all of that on my own. It's how I've always played the game, basically. Um, but obviously I posted online to get feedback, criticism, comments to inspire you guys to do your own. Um, so it really does mean a lot to me. Um, as we see, uh, like I said, I really do think Nina and Rich are kind of on the outskirts of their tribe. So it is kind of good that Nina won. And, um, last time I checked, Rich did have possession of the Hidden Immunity Idol, however, this tribe is constantly passing that thing around. It's always going between Richard, Bella, and Tina, and they all kind of seem to be tense with each other right now, and maybe that's why. Maybe they can't decide who deserves the Hidden Immunity Idol. Um, <laughs> I have some more arm glitching as Rich and Bella tried to hug each other. Um, I don't know, everyone <laughs> uh, in my Survivor game's shoulders are broken for some reason. They just all snapped. Maybe it's the weather. I don't really know. Um, we see that Brant is, again, working out constantly. That's how he keeps that six-pack going. Even in the rain, they don't care. Um, Jenna has came and boxed in the rain. Um, I, don't, I don't know. N neither of these seem effective. Also, like, I'm surprised the treadmill isn't broken. I know it is under shelter. Um, so I guess that's why. Um, but I'm just used to, like, anything being outside in the rain in The Sims 4 just instantly breaking. So I'm kind of just waiting patiently for that treadmill to break. Again, if anything breaks in the camp, I don't replace it unless they win luxury. So for Brant's sake, you better hope that nothing happens. <laughs> Um, we see that, I'm really surprised that just the three of them, well now just the two of them, of Richard and Tina, are the ones like hiding inside. Um, since it is raining, you would think that this would be their main place, everyone would gather as it has shelter, but no, nope, everyone's just chilling outside still. <laughs> um, so hopefully they all get cold. I am, I don't think, uh, anyone would die this season, but, I don't know, part of me does want some, it'd be a twist. It'd be a twisted twist. Um, the three of them do look pretty bored, though, so maybe that's why no one's inside. There's really not too much for them to do inside here, apart from, like, make a drink, paint, or read a book. That's kind of the only activities there are inside of the gas station. Um, so everyone in here kind of does look a little bit miserable. Even Richard eventually does leave. Um, but thankfully for everyone, the rain is slowly beginning to stop, and the sun is uh, coming out. Um, so, uh, they are, like, you know, uh, everyone outside is probably a bit happy about that. <laughs> um, and, I mean, the weather here in Oasis Springs is pretty bipolar, since it is a desert. So, um, get ready for that. Eventually it does start to snow, and I had to end up turning that off. Uh, <laughs> but these winter months, the weather is very bipolar. Um, so I feel bad for the house guests that get stuck outside. They're not even house guests. I need to stop saying that castaways. Oh yeah, see, it does begin to snow. Um, and this is where I was like, what? It's snowing in the desert? So I did have to go into settings and turn off the snow. <laughs> I thought that would be kind of weird. I wish, like, the weather just automatically knew what worlds it should do that in. But I guess it makes sense. Um, but here we are. It's still day 14 in the Sand Trap Tribe. Um, Fabio is working at the woodworking table, table per usual. Um, Johnny has come to join him. I do hope the two of them actually do become friends instead of enemies, as I would just... I think I would enjoy... I don't know. I want the best for Johnny. I feel bad for him. <laughs> I don't want him to keep fighting. Uh, Vesepia and Eliza are talking inside and bonding and getting pretty close. I mean, the two of them are the oldest females of the tribe, and you would think the two of them would have bonded pretty sooner. Um, so they are finally starting to, and they do actually become good friends. So uh, that's good for <laughs> the two of them. It's not good for any of you Eliza haters out there, as now she actually does have a real Alliance member. Um, but yeah, everyone else is just kind of outside enjoying the sun as it has finally come out. Uh, <laughs> Nervous has to pee, obviously, and Eliza is just going around camp collecting trash and getting rid of everything. 
as Natalie plays chess by herself. What do you think you would do the most if you were one of my sims at the campsite? Would you play chess? Would you clean? Would you work out a lot? Me personally, I would probably sleep a ton. Um, which none of them ever do. Like, I hardly ever see anyone on the Green Tribe sleeping. Um, it's usually just, like, one at a time, and maybe someone will, will relax in the tent or something, but all of them are constantly awake on the Green Tribe, where I feel like the Red Tribe, I see them at least nap in their bed a few times. <laughs> but that's where I would be. I would be in bed, definitely. Um, but I'm curious at what you guys would be like. Um, I'm also curious if any of you guys have downloaded um, these lots or are starting a Survivor series for yourself or any other kind of series like a Big Brother, a Love Island, anything like that. Um, I love the idea of me inspiring people to do these kind of challenges. I feel like they're not your usual 100 baby challenge or, um, you know, uh, uh, Black Widow challenge or anything like that. Um, I do need to, like, make a little spreadsheet maybe of, like, challenge rules or something like that. Um, but I would love hearing your guys' stories of the challenges you do. If you guys do recreate a Big Brother series or a Survivor series, please let me know, especially if you use my lots. Um, I would love to see screen caps or anything like that. Um, for the people that comment in the comments all the time, please follow me on Twitter. I'd love to keep that open conversation going. Um, I'd love to see what you guys are playing in your game. Um, also, uh, I am on the Sims Gallery at Singleton RW, and I do follow everyone back that follows me on there. Uh, I'd love to see you guys' creations. I feel like right now it's a bit of a one-way conversation of me showing you what I create, and then that's it. But I would actually really love to see what you guys are creating, what you guys are doing. So, uh, you know, either hit me up on the gallery, hit me up in the comments, or hit me up on Twitter. Uh, my name on Twitter is Sims Hot Dogs, S I M S H O T D O G S. I don't know. Actually, it's Hot Dog Sims. That's where I messed up. Hot Dog Sims, H O T D O G S S I M S. Um, as we see, uh, everyone is starting to work on the bathroom here at the Green Tribe because it is a mess. Um, the sink has broken, and I'm not going to fix it. However, Fabio is the only castaway. The only one out of all 16 members that have actually started repairing things. Um, he's the only one that tinkers and stuff, so he's actually able to come in here and fix this thing himself and not have to win a luxury competition to fix it. Um, so they're pretty lucky to have Fabio on their side. I'm surprised no one else has bothered doing that, but he is the only castaway so far this series that has repaired anything. Um, but everyone else, you know, like, has come in, they're mopping, they're cleaning, now he's cleaning the toilet, getting everything situated. Um, so that's a big difference between the Green Tribe and the Red Tribe. If this was the Red Tribe, that sink would still be overflowing. That toilet would still be stinking. You know, they didn't clean anything. But I feel like this Green Tribe is constantly cleaning. They're constantly walking around, getting trash. Johnny's cleaning. Everyone's cleaning. I don't know. The two tribes, it's so crazy the difference the two of them are. Um, it's also interesting how things will change as the tribes begin to change going forward. Um, this is kind of a hint at what is to come. So, obviously, two people will be going and joining Oasis this Friday. However, next week, um, tribes are going to do a little intermingling, a little swapping. Um, there is going to be a big twist with the tribes next week. Um, we're going to spice it up, mix these alliances up, and see what happens. Because right now, I feel like there's two distinct tribes there's two feelings we got this green tribe that argues a lot that keeps their that keeps their campsite clean that's constantly losing immunity then we have the red tribe who's constantly dirty but they're all getting along and winning competitions um so i'm interested to seeing what happens when we completely swap tribes uh we're gonna mix everyone up tomorrow it's gonna be a big melting pot of sims survivor and we're gonna see what comes out of that so i'm pretty excited make sure you stay tuned for that but of course make sure you stay tuned for Friday as we're going to have that double tribal council, which I cannot wait for. And I actually will be on camera for the next video, I swear. I'm not lying this time. I lied last time, unintentionally, but I'm not, I'm, I'm actually going to do it this time. <laughs> um, we see Eliza is the life of the party per usual over here on the green team. She has put a face mask on and she is dancing to the fire as everyone is just gathering around her and watching her. They're all kind of eating lunch finally. Uh, I love that this tribe actually eats together most of the time. 
So they're all kind of sitting together watching Eliza dance. And this is the exact reason why Eliza is still in the game. I know you guys hate her, but look at her. Like, she is socializing constantly. She's making close friendships with people like the Sepia. Uh, she's not getting into any real drama, apart from partially annoying some people. But she's constantly, like, has high energy. She's dancing. She's laughing. She's having a good time. And, I don't know, you guys are haters. Like... <laughs> Um, I'm interested in what you guys would do if Eliza actually won this series. Would you guys just unfollow me? <laughs> just block my account? What would you guys do? How much are you hating Eliza? Because I know something you really do hate her, but I don't know. The series is making me kind of like her. I don't know what's happening. Who likes surf? Some of us. Maybe Kohi. Surf. Uh, Aksawa. Skiba Glosh. Oh, Waboos. That's annoying. Hidden Trofa. But unfortunately, this fun with the group does not last very long. As I said, the weather, as it becomes winter months here in Oasis Springs, is going to get very shifty. So as soon as it just stops raining, it begins to rain again on everyone, except our little cow plant is loving it. Uh, he's out of the dirt now, so I am ready for him to pop out and eat one of my castaways. Uh, I would love that. Uh, Vesepia is complaining about being hungry and about being wet. I think everyone's kind of good mood constantly. Just like as soon as it starts raining, all the castaways get irritated. They're all like not happy anymore. So obviously, as the sun begins to set, the rain begins to pour and everyone's mood drop. I decide, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and send them to tribal council. So that's where all of them are heading. And I'm going to finish the episode up here. However, on Friday, we are just going to do Tribal Council, so as soon as the episode starts, the Green Tribe will be arriving to Tribal Council, and we're going to get started, and two people will be leaving and joining Oasis. So, who do you guys think it's going to be? Who do you hope it's going to be? Um, did you guys like this episode, the challenge, all that kind of stuff? Please talk to me. I am a very lonely wiener who needs your feedback. Uh, besides that, um, I will see you guys on Friday with a webcam on the hot dog suit will return i promise and two people will be going home follow me on everything subscribe hit the bell like the video yada 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 and i'll see you guys later bye